Um, uh, first, uh, qu uh, a quick question for all of you. Whom of you have used Smalltalk in the past or are using Smalltalk? So I'm going to do some in-depth things of Smalltalk, so uh, uh, it would be handy if you would know a bit of Smalltalk. And um, I should just ask. <laughs> no, okay. I, I've seen enough uh, of two presentations. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't use Smalltalk at all. <laughs> you should. It's a very fun language. Yeah, I just came into Smalltalk. Um, first, a quick uh, section about myself. Um, I'm Wouter Gazendam. I'm a co founder of uh, AG5. Uh, we're a full small talk company since 2000. So we've been doing non stop small talking uh, for uh, almost uh, 13 years, I think. Uh, we in the past we also used the name Cosmo Cows. Perhaps uh, some of you may m remember that one uh, uh, from the past. And we are based in Amsterdam and Berlin. And AT5 uh, develops a uh, web-based skills management application. Um, we uh, it's a very complex application, and we uh, keep track of the how good people are trained. Uh, for all sorts of uh, highly trained uh, professions, uh, fire departments, uh, industrial safety, and stuff like that. So in the past, we built a huge multiple code base, uh, uh, which we still are supporting an, in a web-based uh, application. Um, and this uh, leads us to the part why we started actually uh, Gravel, because we have lots of small talk code, and we want to run on Java. And we are not going to rewrite that, because that will take many, many years. And we will introduce many bugs. And I don't like Java. I like to pro program in small talk. Uh, the, reason, the main reason we currently are uh, looking away from VisualWorks to another platform is uh, we want to uh, have good multi-core support and uh, we want to integrate with uh, the whole Java library infrastructure with all the good stuff that is made out there. Um, so what is Gravel Smalltalk? Um, Gravel Smalltalk is a Smalltalk that is uh, running on the JVM. Um, we implemented using uh, the now infamous uh, Invoke Dynamic instruction that is new in uh, in Java 1.7, uh, it was introduced by the JSR uh, 292, and we try to develop Gravel Smalltalk itself, the whole compiler infrastructure in uh, in Smalltalk, the whole Gravel infrastructure, and we have uh, lots of features like traits, namespaces, optional typing, closures that are uh, working correctly, and resumable exceptions. And we uh, open source the project under an, an Apache 2.0 license, which may be, uh, which we may change because uh, some people are saying that the MIT license is better. But I discuss. Um, we also have some things in Gravel uh, uh, clearly absent. If you are coming from a small talk world. Uh, um, Sometimes it's, uh, you may know the become operator, the all instances operator, or the special variable, uh, this context. Uh, currently, we do not support that in, uh, in Gravel Smalltalk. And the main reason is uh, performance. Uh, to correctly implement those uh, semantics in Gravel Smalltalk on the JVM would mean that uh, we would lose all the speed benefits of uh, the, what the JVM can do for us. Um, if we find a good way to implement it, we might change it. Um, I'm going to tell you a bit about the Gravel internals. Um, um, first, how we actually develop the compiler uh, infrastructure of uh, Gravel itself. Um, we started developing Gravel uh, in VisualWorks. And we all built a parser compiler infrastructure in Smalltalk itself. 
and we once developed uh, a, a type annotation system, an optional type annotation system that was inspired by uh, strong talk uh, called uh, Pegan. And it allows us to add type annotations to VisualWorks source code. And we use that to uh, transform the Smalltalk source code to Java source code. I have a small example over here, uh, which actually wraps around the uh, screen. I have a method called uh, method mapping for uh, selector. And um, I'm going to see if I can move the image actually on screen. So we have above is the method mapping uh, from uh, selector. Uh, this is the Smalltalk source. It is annotated with uh, with those curly braces uh, type annotations. Uh, these are the, the parameter types, and these this is the return type, which is in abstract method mapping or nil. Um, and this is the Smalltalk source, and it will generate this Java source out of it see if I can get my window back. So uh, we try to develop as much of the system in Smalltalk itself, because I don't, know, don't like Java. Um, uh, we developed a patching compiler um, with the idea that um, in in an interactive Smalltalk environment, you would like to change behavior when you're developing in it. So, um, and we would like to use uh, Java objects that c come out of the uh, libraries that we use, like uh, some uh, uh, some list comes out of a library and it, it enters the Smalltalk code, and we want to use that array list as a real Smalltalk object. So you want to. Uh, uh, can, uh, you would like to be able to detect or select or one of the acts uh, on those uh, those kind of objects. You cannot uh, hot add methods on the JVM, and we want to be able to change all this kind of things. So we started a, a concept called the patching compiler, and the patching compiler um, allows us to, uh, from the small talk perspective, to add and remove and change. Uh, behavior, and that's purely because the JSR gives us full control over the method lookup, so we can decide that some old method is no longer valid in from our uh, gravel per perspective, and now a new method or a, uh, a different method is valid, or the lookup chain has changed. Uh, this gives us the possibility to change uh, Smalltalk code in a, on a running JVM. Um, next, uh, to get Gravel running, we need a some sort of base library. Um, what we actually are doing is uh, we are recycling, uh, we are using the ST80 uh, base classes uh, from Squeak, and we are getting those the source codes from Squeak and. Uh, importing them in special packages in VisualWorks and then uh, uh, write uh, all those code out of VisualWorks again. We uh, found this uh, this great package called the ANSI DB. It's actually a, a machine readable format of the whole Smalltalk ANSI standard, which describes uh, what kind of protocols you can expect in a normal uh, Smalltalk system and what kind of selectors should be uh, implemented and what kind of behavior uh, there should be. We uh, use that to automatically generate tests and actually uh, we do, don't test uh, that much. Um, you see a generated test over here. It, uh, it runs with some example values. So uh, uh, this is the, uh, the test for the selector called SBAG. And, uh, Certain kinds of objects should be able to uh, to respond to a message like that. You know, things like an ordered collection or an array or 
uh, uh, other uh, collection types. So still values do will uh, iterate over some example values. We just perform the selector and we test whether the result is anything sensible. So we don't do any uh, semantic uh, checks whether uh, the result is anything sensible ex uh, next to a, uh, a simple type check. Um, but running using these tests, we can uh, re uh, pretty easily recreate what is needed to have a base Smalltalk system uh, in Gravel, um, and we uh, what we need we copy from uh, Squeak. We then uh, split things up if if, if the definition. Uh, is uh, is part of the trade part, what we call it, or the actual implementation part? Um, because in Gravel uh, we use the, the trade system, uh, 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 and we uh, in Gravel we think that an order collection defines something of the public protocol of uh, the base library. So the order collection. Uh, from our view is a trait and so an, the actual implementation of the ordered collection is a, a class you wouldn't instantiate yourself normally it's an ordered collection impl and that contains the actual uh, private logic for uh, using this ordered collection and uh, ordered collection impl is the default implementation for this trait so sending order collection new will yield an order collection info. Um, most of the implementation uh, comes from Squee. Um, we can also use these uh, these traits that we have built to uh, look at the Java environment and if we identify certain Java classes that sort of correspond correspond to uh, photo classes, then we can. Uh, have the, uh, for example, the Java util array list, we can uh, have it conform to this trait so that every utility method that you will add to the ordered collection trait will be available on an array list that will enter your gravel system. Um, we've been, we started the uh, development of gravel in uh, October last year. At this point, we have the uh, generated NSI tests working, which means that uh, the, the largest part of the base library is working. Uh, that's actually a lie because we don't have the uh, file protocol tests working, and that's because uh, the ANSI standard uh, uh, has a very weird thing about file uh, protocols, and I think Squeak and VisualWorks also don't conform to the ANSI standard in that respect. Uh, we also have ported some uh, some libraries to to test the system. Uh, we could, uh, uh, with very little adaptation, we could uh, we, we moved SUnit to our system and we use SUnit to to run tests on Gravel Smalltalk. Um, I somewhere found an implementation of Delta Blue on the, on the internet to to check the performance of uh, Gravel Smalltalk, and I found an implementation of the Richards benchmark, and we actually started on a first idea of a Gravel IDE because I don't actually like programming in Java now. I also don't like programming in Eclipse. I really love the, pow the power of the, the refactoring browser of using a debugger and things like that. Um, so, things we have not done at this uh, point yet, um, which is, first thing is we want to look into Truffle. Um, we have uh, Stefan Marr, uh, we're very interested in what this, the sum actually is going to do, but so that something we really like to, to experiment with because it looks like very uh, promising technology. Um, another thing we really want to do because we have the luxury, luxury of being a very new language, so 
we don't have to do things like support and stuff, is do something uh, good once and for all, and that, that is kill all the globals uh, in a way that like Newspeak does, um, because uh, because I really like Smalltalk, but I don't like globals in Smalltalk. Um, what we also have to do, uh, get working is the live debugging. Um, problem with live debugging uh, and is the limitations of the JVM. Um, you cannot, uh, in an image itself, you cannot uh, reinstantiate the stack, for instance. <coughs> you can only monitor the stack from an older JVM via a sort of debugging port. Uh, there are some tricks possible how we can get live debugging working. Uh, it's hard. We are, uh, we're working on that. If anyone has a good idea how to get really good debugging on the JVM, uh, I'd really love to hear it. Uh, next step is uh, for us is if we can work in Gravel itself, uh, we will make it self-hosting so that we uh, some parts of the uh, code, for instance, the, the code that transforms the type annotated compiler Smalltalk to Java is currently VisualWorks uh, only. So if you would uh, uh, somehow change the compiler, you cannot g generate it in Gravel itself uh, uh, at this point. So that sort of concludes what uh, Gravel is today and what, where we hope we will be going. Uh, it should, uh, I'd like to uh, say thanks to, uh, well, it's about saying thanks to the whole uh, idea of open source because uh, we couldn't have built this in a few months time if there wasn't that enormous amount of uh, ideas freely available on the net, like the whole uh, Smalltalk Squeak environment and uh, the JSR uh, stuff and uh, everything uh, over here. And al I also like to thank the, the FOSDEM people for giving me the opportunity to give a speech over here. So, thanks to that. Um, I'll give a short uh, demo of a uh, uh, of Gravel Smalltalk. I will first switch my monitor back into Does anyone know how to uh, get the Mac uh, to monitor my screen over here? Do I see that button over here? On the home screen is it. Yeah. Home screen? It's, it's always on the other screen. On the other. Yeah. It's also not over here actually. Try the other windows. Arrangement. Window. Arrangement. Mirror, Mirror display. Okay, thank you. That's better. Thank you. Um, I'll get Eclipse. I hope this is uh, readable for you. Um, over here I have uh, one Maven project that contains the uh, all the Gravel sources over here. It contains the, the Java code and the uh, Smalltalk code. Um, these are actually th those folders are a uh, representation of uh, FisherWorks packages. Um, I'll try to start the web browser because that's the most interesting part. May I interrupt? Yeah. Uh, did you take a look at Redline's model? Yeah, I did. It, uh, Redline has a different approach. Uh, our approach is mainly about speed and Redline is not that focused on speed. So, uh, so that's the reason why we didn't go the Redline way. But you didn't mention any speed numbers. Um, um, 
I'm actually a bit cautious about calling, uh, uh, naming speed numbers because I don't know how to do official benchmarks and stuff. What is act actually interesting, uh, but those are unofficial numbers, um, we have the Delta Blue benchmark running faster than the Java. So we can run uh, the Delta Blue code on the JVM in Smalltalk faster than we, uh, the Java uh, code is running. All, all thanks to the uh, great hotspot optimizations of then again, you, you also had uh, showed this problem with the, the, the richest benchmark and it really performs like like hell on our system. It's really bad. It's like 100 times slower than Java, so... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well-known problems, uh, I don't know yet. Um, Three more minutes. Okay, I'm running out of time over here. Um, I started my browser. The browser connects to uh, Gravel Smalltalk. Um, we've built this browser to actually get a view of the system itself. It, so it's a web-based sort of uh, browser we have over here. Uh, on the left-hand side, you have the packages, and can there you can see. Uh, well, the classes that have been implemented, and you can view some source code. What we actually can do is add a method, like foo, and accept it. And it actually appears over here as the method foo. So now I have added the method foo to fraction. It's of course hard to get some feedback in a system um, when you have no debugging working. So I'll go the classical way of uh, crashing your own IDE. So I'll try to... Uh, I'm now viewing at the browser application class and the browser application class is the actual thing you are seeing right now. Um, somewhere over here is a button called accept and I like to use the French word for cheese so when I accept this code and it actually accepts it my button is now called fromage so I changed the source code of the uh, of the code that renders the user interface and now the code is the method is changed. As you also can see is that the formatting of the method is, has changed and that's because uh, it's now a sort of decompiled code because the, we currently don't yet write back the uh, change source code to, to disk so it's now decompiled code. Um, so that's a uh, quick uh, quick demo of the, uh, the gravel system, well a small part of the gravel system. Um, Are there some questions? How many people are working on this? Uh, currently, mainly, mainly myself and uh, a colleague has uh, put in some extra hours, mainly in analyzing the squeak code uh, to get the actual methods that we have to move over uh, to Gravel because we don't do want to move over all the methods because uh, there's all st uh, sorts of legacy methods in them. So we only want to move over the methods that are needed to satisfy our tests. So um, uh, so it's, I think, one and a half guy. Some other questions? Yes. So are you already using this in, in production, or are you, is it? Um, we are planning to have it in production somewhere in uh, f uh, first small systems uh, in March or things like that. So it's 
Uh, we st first started this as a uh, research project to see if it was actually doable. And now that it seems to be doable, we, uh, we will be using it in production. Okay, thank you. That's a lot of work. Yeah. Wil jij die terug? Ja. Ja, misschien. Ik moet hem nog wat mee doen straks. Oh ja, jij gaat straks weer. Yes, they asked for the sheets to be at 800 times 600. Yes, that's, that's right. right. I just that's okay. No, it doesn't matter. Uh -huh. Yeah, the, the, my problem is that I'm using a virtual box. It's not that easy. I need to change both. Oh, yes, yeah. yeah, that's. Okay, we'll do something. Do you have the old style? Yes. Yes, it's our. Is it? Oh, thank you. No. Yes. So this is why we have five minutes between <laughs> yeah. the talk. It's simply needed to get those resolution things. So. 
worked out. Oh, yeah. Okay, and that, that one needs to be yeah. broken. 60 hertz is nice, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Is black should it be 60 hertz or should it be higher? 60 hertz is okay. 60 hertz or which? 60, yeah. So now, some, some white. The VM is not. Do you have middle ring on? Mm -hmm. You have the middle ring? Middle ring? Or the middle? Well, the, the, disp the display display is going to be that one too. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, it is. But the point is that I don't know why I am not having. Okay. No, Do you have any display? Mm -hmm. No display yet. Okay, it's gone. Continue. Okay, hold on. The problem is on the Mac side uh, still. Yeah. Yes, actually it was in different uh, resolutions. Mm -hmm. So they can just pin the with the camera. We try five minutes. Okay. Okay, it's okay like this? No, no. You have five minutes. In five minutes we start. Okay. Then so let's just try it. But this okay, the resolution has to be. No, the, the box is not. It's normal. No, it's too green. You can see it's green. When you start, uh -huh. the picture, it's just. Uh, everything is green, so I, I, I should suppose that it's related with, with the heart, not maybe with the. Here. Yeah. No, it's the problems on the back side. In the back side. Yeah. Uh, this place settings. Oh, this one is. Oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Uh, rotation, no, nothing. Yeah. Rotation. To the arrangement. There it is. I need. There are more hearts. You can change. Oh, yeah. You can play with it. Let's try. That's it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. Better? Perfect. Okay, Sorry, good, then. Perfect, yeah, it's just... It's just about... Okay. Okay. So, after Perfect. a few minutes of technical issues, yeah. I'm happy to...